Chapter 7 Introduction to MS Word Recapitulation WordPad is used to type the words or sentences. Central Idea Learn to work with Microsoft Word, component of MS Word window. Learn to minimize and maximize the ribbon. Open new document. Close the document. Important keys on keyboard. Save the document. Exit MS Word. Student, there is an essay writing competition in my school next week. The participant who writes the best essay using Microsoft Word will win the competition. But I don't know how to use it. Need help? To win the competition, I need to learn how to work with Microsoft Word. Don't worry, kids. Let's get started. Before we learn to write an essay, first we need to know the following. How to open MS Word? Basic features of MS Word. MS Word is a word processing software developed by Microsoft Inc. It is used for creating, editing and formatting the text documents. Let's open a new document on your computer. Follow the given steps. Step 1. Click Start button. Step 2. Scroll the menu and click Word. The following window will appear. Step 3. Click on Blank document. Once the blank document is clicked, the following window appears. Let's look at the various components of MS Word window. Quick Access Toolbar Tabs Title Bar Minimize, Maximize and Close button Show Hide Ribbon button Ribbon Cursor This is the document area, white Scroll Bar Status Bar Now, let's explore each one of them. Quick Access Toolbar Quick Access Toolbar allows you to access common commands no matter which tab is selected. By default, it shows the Save, Undo and Repeat commands. You can also add other commands according to your requirements. Title Bar Title Bar displays the program and document names on the top of the MS Word window. Minimize button. This button is used to minimize a window. When minimized, the program will remain on the taskbar, but will not be visible and will keep the application running and accessible. Maximize button. This button is used to enlarge a window, making it fill the entire screen or the program window in which it is contained. When a window is maximized, it cannot be moved until it is reduced in size using the Restore button. Close button. This button is used to close down the active window. Cursor. Typing cursor. A small blinking line on the screen is known as cursor. As you type the text on the screen, it keeps shifting towards the right side of the screen. The ribbon. The ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. You can use these tabs to perform various tasks in Word. To minimize and maximize the ribbon. The ribbon is designed to respond to your current task, but you can choose to minimize the ribbon. If you find that it takes up too much of the screen space. Step 1. Click the Ribbon Display Options arrow in the upper right corner of the ribbon. Step 2. Select the desired minimizing option from the drop-down menu. Click here to show the ribbon. Ribbon is hidden and the document appears in full screen. Auto Hide Ribbon Auto Hide displays the document in full screen mode and completely hides the ribbon from view. 
To show the ribbon, click the Expand Ribbon command at the top of the screen. Show tabs. This option hides all command groups when not in use, but tabs will remain visible. To show the ribbon, simply click a tab. Show tabs and commands. This option maximizes the ribbon. All of the tabs and commands will be visible. This option is selected by default when you open Word for the first time. Start a new document. Now let's open the new document. Step 1. Open MS Word. Step 2. Select the blank document. You will get a large blank page on the screen. Step 3. Type in the document where you see the cursor or insertion point. Important keys on the keyboard. Use alphabet keys for typing text. There are 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard. Use number keys for typing numbers. Give a blank space using space bar between words or sentences while typing the text. If you make a typing mistake, use backspace key to delete the mistakes. Backspace key will remove the character to the left of the cursor. Enter key is used to go down to new line or a paragraph. Don't press enter at the end of every line. Press enter once at the end of every paragraph. Caps lock key is used to type the capital letters. When you press it again, the letters will go back to the lower case. Save the document. To save a document, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click the File tab. Backstage View appears. Step 2. Click Save As. Step 3. Click This PC. Step 4. Click Browse to search the location to save the document. Step 5. Choose a location and then type a file name. Step 6. Click Save to save the document. Word makes documents and save the file with extension dot .docs. The extension dot .docs comes after the name of the file, for example, abc dot .docs. Print the document. To save a document, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click the File tab. Backstage View will appear. Step 2. Select Print. The print pane will appear. Step 3. Select the printer in Printer section. Step 4. Click on Print button. Close the document. After finishing the work, you need to close the document. Click Close button to close the document. Some features of MS Word are 1. It is a word processing software, which is very easy to use. 2. You can edit the text easily. 3. You can change the style of word or sentence and make them colourful. 4. You can set the page margins. 5. You can format the text to make it more presentable. 6. You can correct spellings and grammar. 7. You can insert images in the document. 8. You can save and print your document.